Hey guys, Thomas King Gaming here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an in depth tutorial on the battle system in the Desolate Hope. This is episode two of my walkthrough. If you want to see episode one, go back. It's in the playlist or just go back on my channel. But um, in that battle, or that battle, in that video, I um, battled Teratotic 1.0. And I was not, you know, it's a fast fight and I, I don't really have time to explain the battle system before you know I get killed or whatever if I'm not actually doing anything so I'm gonna be going into the battle simulation which is right here uh, it's just a target dummy I'm gonna be going into the battle sy simulation and I'm going to be showing you guys what all of this stuff means all right so first off we have energy energy is essentially um how much health he has and it shows his max energy and how much energy he has so i just call it health that's basically what it is so um he has 5000 health and his max health is 5000 some um, bosses have moves that increase their max health um so yeah oh this is important I'm going to do this right now because it literally does nothing right now. Um, but I'm going to go in depth on what that is. So, this bar charging up right here is his attack bar. So, when this, his attack charge. So, when this comes up, when this reaches up here, he, he will, he will attack. When, now we have our own little bars down here, okay? So, I'm going to do proto wall, quick repair. And you can ex go into the battle simulation and look at what everything does. And you can go into the simulation and look at what everything does yourself, all these moves. But store charge is probably really important because that gives us charge. So charge is, okay, I'm going to keep going into what this guy is. But charge essentially gives you more moves and when... Now this guy can't charge up. He has no charge moves. This is your... We're going to ignore these things on the side for now. This meteor right here building up is your... I'm going to do a quick repair because that heals. Protowall. That, that just blocks his, their attacks. This meter rising up is his attack meter. But um, there's, a small, there's a chance. Not a small chance, but there's a chance for most... For pretty much every boss in the game that um, sometimes when this meter rises up enough then it'll charge a green meter down here now you're not seeing it right now but that a, a green meter down here will rise and when that reaches full then they do a special attack move and those are the ones that you really want to look out for null charge so we have tweak right here and tweak is crucially important um, for pretty much this entire game it's a conditional that you can set if you go to bark if you go to box car you can go uh, he's in mirad more and mal um, and the mal wastes and you will be able to find I'm sorry I'm gonna boost my defense well no actually no you see this meter right here right behind here defense this meter right here is tweak so every time I get attacked, it charges tweak. Anytime something else happens, every time I get I get a critical hit, it charges tweak. So I'm gonna continue charging up my stuff. Anytime those things happen, it's a conditional to charge tweak. And when tweak charges up, I'm going to uh, supercharge. I don't. I want to get hit right now, so I can charge up tweak and show you guys what it does. But right now, I think I'm invulnerable. Yeah, I am. When Tweak charges up, you have a bunch of options. And the main option that you want to choose is Null Charge. Null Charge. I'll show you guys when it comes up. Null Charge stops the green meter from rising. So, constantly. So, half the time, the boss is going to attack you with a normal attack. And half the time, they're going to attack you with a uh, special attack. And the green meter... Is a special attack so when they choose to rise the green meter when it re rises all the way up special attack when they choose null charge makes it so that when they choose to charge the green 
charge the green meter, it doesn't charge. If you have every conditional set to charge tweak, you can literally make it so that they can't do any special attacks at all. If that's not OP, I don't know what is. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so their strength, this guy's strength is at zero, defense is at zero. You want to look at this, but that's not that not what matters. Speed. So right now, speed is how fast this white bar right here rises up. So when... So I'll... Uh, a certain boss called Gurgaroon, Gurgaron, however you want to say it, the dragon dude, you'll, we're going to fight him later. He has a lot of speed. The trick, now watch this, if we use Taser Pod, this right here is going to slow him down. So when this lightning hits him, not only does it do damage, but this slows him down. Very important. You don't really see it right here. But it slows him down. It's also dealing damage. Um, I'm going to do Mega Charge. Mega Charge basically takes away all of Malin's charge. But gives a bunch to everybody else. I'm going to do Charge. And then I'm going to do Slug Virus. Which also slows him down. So you can't. So you can see the bar is moving a lot slower now. Um, yes. Now Combo is a meter. That rises up when we deal a bunch of damage in a quick combo. I don't actually... And the, when the combo meter reaches its max, um, there's a certain conditional that when the combo meter reaches max, it will charge something else. So if you say to charge tweak, when this combo meter... And it's actually one of the first conditionals that we get. When this combo meter reaches max, it charges tweak. Tweak is the only meter we need to worry about. We don't actually need to look at it right now most of the time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys another meter. I'm going to charge on all my guys... As you can see, all my guys have a, a white meter, just like the boss, to when they can make your move. So whoever's white meter reaches first, goes. Now, one, if, you, if you're if you on a derelict that you don't want to use a move of yet, you can switch to another derelict that has full charge. Or has full, their move their, uh, move is ready. So it, um, it'll say ready in flashing words, flashing text, if they are ready. So, for example, if I want to click on Mirad and use Sword Charge, I can do that right now. Now, but she's not ready. So when I click on her card, she won't be able to do anything. So only click on people's cards that, uh, in flashing text, say ready. But most of the time, you aren't going to actually need to click on the card. I think that's kind of useless if you're just doing move after move after move, which is the strategy that you want. And I believe the strategy goes in order of the card. No, it doesn't. It goes in order of Malins, Alphys, Biobeta, Mirad, I think. Which is what it did. Dep it really depends on whoever you're doing. So if we start with Mirad, it goes to Alphys, and then goes to Malins, and then Biobeta. So it's really complicated. <laughs> it's really complicated, but it is... Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter what order you're going in. Oh, half 90% of the time I'm pr actually pretty sure no matter who you choose it always goes to alpha second which is very good if you want to use like solar ball if you use like store charge use charge solar ball stuff like that solar ball just does a bunch of damage that's literally all it does so we could kill this guy really quickly now that's it for all the stuff on our screen you can buy upgrades and they'll be up here I'm gonna go in depth on the buttons so we have store strike um, charge, we'll do mega charge, store heal, now we don't have a lot of speed, so bio beta has a lot of buffs and debuffs that you can give the enemy, so right now we can give ourselves super charge, which is over here, you see all of your buffs over here, and then if we were to do like slug virus, we can see the enemy has slug virus over here, so enemy debuffs, and then your buffs are over on the, this side right here, um, so autoplay, we don't have a lot of charge right now, so I gotta charge up Malins quite a lot to get us some Mega Charge. So I should be able to do Mega Charge when Malins' turn comes up. Okay, so now we can do Store Charge, and you see these buttons up here, right? And they're really important. These buttons up here are really important as well. This is what Mirad here is for. Is for storing charge and stuff. 
Um, let's put up a counterbot. So whenever this guy attacks us, the counterbot can counterattack him. Sort invuln invuln. This makes us invulnerable. So I don't want this video to drag on, but you can't really just like hack your way, give yourself stuff in this battle. So I'm just going to do it until I get all the buttons. I really, I'm going to show you all the buttons and tell and show you what they do. So Malins should be giving us mega charge. Yes. Okay. So, and that's store revive. So these are the the six buttons. So strike. What store what store strike does? is it will give us a bunch of like damage and it keeps the damage keeps raising over time so if you hit it immediately you're gonna do like 200 damage not very much heal very gimmicky but if we use med beacon without with alphas that will constantly raise the uh the heal number so that's what med beacon does med beacon stores the heal so you can use those in conduction Sidecracker um, is a move that is based on the heal button. So if the heal button is super high, you can use Sidecracker and it'll deal a ton of damage. But if you have no heal button, it'll deal like two damage or something super small, like one damage. It's yeah. Auto. This will auto play the mini games, and you guys don't know what the mini games are yet. I am going to show you what the mini games are in a second. Charge gives you charge, and I kind of need that right now, really badly charge will give you uh charge and that's what this green bar is charge if the more charge you have the more moves you have so if you charge your character you'll you will get like mounds you will get one more move one more charge if you start the game with more charge then that means that you start the game with uh start the battle immediately with more moves which is definitely is very useful and there's an upgrade you can buy from med med who's in Maoist that can literally give you charge charge uh that can give you like a bunch of um battle start buttons that you can press a button and you can literally press a button and give your characters all four derelicts a crap ton of charge in invulnerable this button literally makes you take zero damage for five seconds it's probably one of the most useless buttons and yet one of the most op buttons i'd say don't worry about this one because as you can see, I literally did something that made it so that this guy cannot attack me. I might have bugged the game. <laughs> Most people aren't supposed to be in this simulation for this long. I might have bugged the game to the point where this guy doesn't attack me anymore. Um, so I can't show you Tweak, but yeah. Yeah, I already told you what that does. But yeah, Invulnerable just makes you take zero damage for five seconds. For however many seconds this is. And Revive... I can't show you now because none of my characters are dead, but when if a character is dead or any character is dead, like if three characters are dead and you have one revive, you can use one revive and revive all of them, um, but they'll have no charge to start out with. So yeah, the buttons are really important to keep in moderation, but there's uh, the main ones that I'd say are the most important are autoplay, charge, autoplay and charge because Malins' move quick repair revives your characters so i'd say use this mainly but if like right now um mirad's revive button is really important uh as a backup to quick repair because quick repair it doesn't heal you a ton it doesn't revive you to that much but it is his first actual move so essentially um, those are the buttons. So now I'm gonna use strike and get this guy down to 300 or 3,000 health. Now, the mini games. I have full charge on all these guys. Now I can show you the mini games. So I would, I do want to store autoplay because I only have autoplay for 20 seconds. If you load the video game or the mini games up here, they will give you bonuses. So I'm gonna do autoplay for 20 seconds right now. As you can see, these numbers are quickly, rapidly going up. Now, I only have autoplay for 20 seconds, so I got to get autoplay up and running. Keep that going. Oh, he's attacking me. So now I have no charge. No, I have a combo meter that's going up very high, which is, char which is charging tweak. 
So I, I, um, I can use Null Charge. If he's a normal boss, that's a very useful move to do. Mega Charge, so now I can use for autoplay. And this is where you can see the crazy combo stuff is going on. So I can keep, oh, I should've done, I should've kept autoplay going. I should probably use Supercharge actually, but yeah. Keep this going. Store autoplay. And there's only one game that will not keep going if you're not using autoplay, and that's um, uh, BioBeta's game. If you don't keep BioBeta's game, Fun Road, that's his game right here. If you do not keep uh, BioBeta's game going, it will stop. So autoplay might keep giving you points from it, but the game will keep going. The games will disappear if you aren't playing them. But if you're used autoplay, like you shouldn't actually play the games. I'm not even seriously. Don't actually play the games. So keep autoplay up, and there's to it's it comes to a point where you can literally like get enough autoplay where you don't have to worry about anything. Like you don't have to worry about it for a while. And I'm getting a lot of combos. But essentially, these like I'm getting a health bonus, a defense bonus, a speed bonus, and an attack bonus, and that's what these are. So in theory, I can switch this to. A health, a health bonus, a defense bonus, a speed bonus, or an attack bonus. So now if I switch them all to green, that'll give me more green than all four. Oh yeah, crap, I didn't load Alpha um, BioBeta's game. Okay, keep that up, I remember. That's what that does. So, again, I'm going to switch this to green, and I switch this to green by clicking this little square in the corner. And now my speed is like insane. Like, look at how fast I'm going now as compared to before however you can keep it as a you can have more of an attack bonus but you can have four four you can have all four but it doesn't give you as many of them so something to keep in mind right now um again you can't really keep as as again as the characters level up you will like especially biobites you'll be able to use the game for longer I, I guess but so now you can see I'm just gaining a t bunch of bonuses it's important to keep these bonuses up but now I'm actually gonna kill this guy so toxin laser gives every single debuff for a short amount of time and it hits him with a powerful attack solar ball just does a crap ton of damage stun rain as opposed to mega charge I'm gonna use mega charge stun rain stuns the enemy and does a little bit of them a little bit of damage but yeah Solar ball, toxin laser, store charge, use the charge. Guess what? Now all my characters have their moves. Use mega charge. So now all my guys store charge. Now I have eight charge, and that doing that over and over and over again will get my damage for a second. Was four. That took so long, but at the end, I dealt. So I de I dealt. I got like three thousand damage and crap. Like so, just like that. Super quick death. So that is. That is how you, um, that's a in-depth explanation of the battle system in The Desolate Hope, and I hope you actually learned something. And there's more stuff to learn, like hack chips, and those will have special placements on the screen, and upgrades, and by the end of the game, there's going to be a lot more on the screen. But, that's the basics. So, now you can actually understand in the rest of my walkthrough where I'm going with all my attacks and strategies and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. And as always, peace out guys. See ya. Goodbye.